of heavy rain. Good morning. Yeah, good morning to you as well. Yeah, that's the last thing anybody around here needs. Power uh, is something the people in St. Charles Parish really don't have. Many, if not most of the people are without power. What they do have are big gaping holes in the sides of their houses and in their roofs and those all too familiar blue tarps are starting to spring up all across St. Charles Parish. Many haven't even had a chance yet to uh, gather their belongings after Ida left them in the lurch and it appears more rain, a lot more rain is on the way. Other problem could be all of the debris that's already stacked up on the ground. Should that storm come through this area with any sort of wind whatsoever, it could strew the, uh, all this debris to the four corners, if you will, leaving folks here having to clean it up all over again. To say the people in this area are worried, well, that might be an understatement. Oh yeah, it's gonna pick it up and throw it around. And I don't, I think that's what, a category one now? Is that what they're saying this thing is? It might be, I think okay. it's still tropical. Tropical storm now. So yeah, I mean, if we get some outer bands with some 60, 80 mile an hour wind, this stuff's gonna go everywhere. They're flying projectiles. We're gonna be in trouble. Yeah, and the rain's enough. Nobody needs the wind to come through here as well. So here in St. Charles Parish, here is some critical information that you need to know and pass on to your neighbors who don't have power. Even as the rains pose a threat right now, the parish remains under a boil water advisory and residents are still being asked to limit sewerage usage. Parish leaders say they are now working to get additional FEMA resources here on the ground. The expedited rental assistance and critical needs assistance programs have both been extended now until September the 22nd. And there is a second garbage contractor coming in with as many as 16 trucks to go ahead and try to pick up some of the garbage that has been piling up. Big question is always uh, power restoration. Again, so many people here in St. Charles Parish still don't have power. Full restoration not expected until September the 29th. As we said earlier, it's going to be a long haul. Guys, 